Hello everyone, Black Ice here and welcome to another Minecraft Snapshot Overview. This one is going to be 15, or not 15, 16W, 20A. It's going to be a preview of Minecraft 1.10. They're already making 1.10 snapshots, they just released it the first one today. And I'm pretty excited to go over this, so let's get started right away. First, you will, oh, well first you'll notice that I jumped sideways and I didn't mean to. This is because they added an auto jump feature, which I'm going to turn off right now. Um, it's on by default, so just be aware of that. You have to go in here to turn it off. Um, this is a feature that was from Minecraft Pocket Edition. And I gotta say, having played Minecraft Pocket Edition, it was very useful because, well, I mean, at least for me anyway, the controls are pretty hard to use on my smartphone, so I needed that auto jump. And the PC version, however, I don't think it's very useful or necessary. But hey, if you like it, feel free to use it. It's on by default again. And it'll show you where to go to turn it off. So anyway, now to cover the first block, we have this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. This is a bone block. And as you can see, you can place it kind of like you would with logs. It's made out of bones. We will get rid of this. The crafting recipe is nine bone meal in a square like so. We'll give you one bone block. And one bone block will give you nine bone meal, so whoops. It's basically a nice way to store bone meal, and also looks like it could be a decent building block, to be honest. Um, I don't know if I'd use this part necessary, but the sides look nice and smooth, and it's not like quartz where it has that tiled texture, so like there's like a square all around it. So, I don't know, this could be nice. I, I kind of like it. Um, so yeah, new new building block, very nice. We have here a Minecraft structure block. Uh, these aren't craftable or obtainable in any way other than slash give player name Minecraft colon structure underscore block, to my knowledge anyway. And if we right click it, you'll see there's a UI with a custom data tag name and oh my goodness. Um, there's like D, there's S, and I apologize, my mouse just randomly decides to double click, so I'm not, I'm not sure why it does that. All right, so it looks like there's data mode, save mode, load mode, and corner mode. And I'm just gonna slowly go through these now. Save mode, oh, if my mouse would allow me to. Here's load mode. Um, I, I don't know what any of this stuff means, but this was added for map maker. So all you map makers out there, you guys got a new toy to play with. Maybe you know how it works, maybe not. Unfortunately, I don't, so I can't really tell you. Yeah, we also have a Minecraft structure void. It's a tiny invisible block and you can see its hitbox when we mouse over it here. Um, yeah, and it's just slash give player Minecraft st colon structure underscore void. And if we take a look in the chest, this is what it looks like when you have it like in an inventory slot. Kind of like a barrier in that sense where it's invisible like this and I don't think you can see it though. I don't think you can ever see it. Sometimes barriers will like flash when you're in creative mode or something. Um, yet more new blocks. We have this block, which is a nether wart block. We have this, which is red nether brick. The crafting recipes are, the crafting recipes are in the chest, so for the nether wart block, it is nine nether wart to make this. However, I do want to note that putting this in the crafting table will not give you five nether, or er, five, nine nether wart like the bone block would do, so it's not really a way to store nether wart, it's just a way to have another building block to make out of nether wart, and it kind of looks ugly in my opinion. But what we do have, and what I do think looks pretty, is the red nether brick, so it's just diagonal. Um, oh, hello, zombie pig man. <laughs> nice of you to join the video. Uh, diagonal nether brick and diagonal nether wart, it doesn't matter what order you have these in as long as they're diagonal from each other. If you do it like this, for example, it won't work. But if you do it like um, this, for example, it will work. So it's not entirely shapeless crafting because otherwise, well, maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway, it only works if they're diagonal and it gives you this. And I think they look kind of nice. I, I could see using these in a build. I'm not sure what I could use this in other than if I was like building a giant creature and this would be like its insides. I don't know, <laughs> that's kind of gross, I apologize. Anyway, I think that's it for new blocks for now, but we do have new mobs. As you can see, this is a husk. Um, it is very zombie-like in nature, and it only spawns in hot or dry biomes. 
which is why I put the desert here. I, I had to spawn these in. Obviously, I'm not in a desert. And they can also spawn in chicken jockey form. I got lucky enough to just... This was actually the first one I spawned in. So I, And I wanted to just spawn this one in because that's what they normally are. So I'm guessing they have zombie variants as well. So I'm not sure if there would be husk villagers. But there's definitely husk chicken jockeys. And probably husk... Or baby zombies or just baby husks or whatever. And these guys are unique in the way they attack you. And also, as you can see, there's no roof under here. Or over here. They don't burn in the sunlight because they're used to it, I guess. They spawn in the hot dry biomes and they don't burn. So these guys could be pretty scary. Um, so I'm gonna switch my game mode to survival for a second here. And oh no. Oh no. I've been attacked by the other mob. He saw me. <laughs> I did not plan this out well. Oh gosh. Um, well, that guy over there shot me with an arrow. He's a new mob too, but we're not ready to go over him. He thinks it's his turn now, but it's not. Um, he hit me with a slowness arrow, actually. So I'm just going to go like right here out of the, that guy's line of sight. And unfortunately, you know what? I'm going to have to do it. Come on, hit me. Oh, uh, they might kill me, actually. When they hit you, they give you hunger for 13 seconds. So these guys could be tough to... Oh, luckily, I can switch my game mode to creative here. Because they're fighting each other, or distracted by each other at the very least. So yeah, these guys give you hunger when you get attacked by them, so that's pretty interesting. Also, you got to see how much damage they do about with my armor off, even though it was a little bit messed up by this guy. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to fix your enclosure, or break your enclosure. I did mean to fix it. Anyway, um, this guy is called a stray. He is a skeleton-like monster that has... I guess armor on? I don't know if that's armor or just for visual effect. But he does shoot you with slowness arrows. They spawn in cold biomes. So that's why I put the snow like this and... I don't know, I just made a spruce themed. I don't know if he can actually spawn in this, uh... The spruce biome over here, the... I don't know what this biome's called. What is it called? Minecraft Taiga, that's what it's called. Wow, that's a, that's a common biome. How did I forget the name of that? Anyway, the, by the way, they don't normally have these name tags on here. I just did that so they wouldn't despawn. And also, I called them by their names. Oh, and I guess I can show you what their spawn eggs look like as well. That's for the husk. That's for the stray. And we have another mob, the polar bear. Oh, no. <laughs> the cub grew up. <laughs> I, I promise you, he was a cub when I put him in there. But anyway, we have the polar bear. Um... You know what? I think we should just, like, get rid of this guy. Yeah, let's just get rid of this guy. I'm gonna do it in a stealthy way that doesn't require me to change my game mode. Haha, <laughs> take that. Um, because I want to demonstrate the AI of the polar bears. That's why I don't want him messing it up. We have two adult polar bears, but... Let's see if it... Yeah, you can get a spawn egg, right-click on them, and spawn a polar bear cub. Now these guys will try to, well... I don't know if they're male or female polar bears. I haven't checked. But anyway, if we go into survival mode, because there's a cub around, they're going to be hostile towards me. And let's see, do they, like, really rip you apart? Hello? Yes. Yes, they do. Oh! The cub killed me. Oh, no, that was just... It was just the polar bear named polar bear cub. Well, luckily, I slept in the village inn. Speaking of which... There are now villages that spawn in taiga biomes, and they look quite nice. They got the th whole theme going on here. Um, yeah, that guy's still here. But anyway, um, when they don't have a cub, they will be neutral, and the cubs are normally neutral themselves. Yeah, the cubs are neutral themselves. The adults will attack if there's a cub nearby, but if there's not, they won't attack you unless provoked, I guess. So that's them. Anyway, I just want to show this. Oh, I can't fly in survival mode. I want to show off this spruce village because it is really cool and it shows off some of the new features of villages. For example, this spawned in with the path block and it looks quite nice. This is one of the best villages I've ever seen spawned by Minecraft. And I got fortunate enough that when I generated this world, I was in a spruce biome and was very close to this village. I had to do a little bit of flying, but um, I did make it here in the end. So as you can see, we got the path. I don't know what that's all about. It just goes into something, I guess. But when you when we get over here, they make bridges over water now. So you won't have like a flooded village anymore. You'll have bridges around the areas. And 
it's still kind of a little weird that the farm's up this high, but I think just when you zoom out and look at it as a whole, this is a really cool looking village. I mean, it's like a lot in the taiga, and then it goes up onto the mountainside a little bit, and then you have these houses over here that you can get into from here and here. And I'm not sure how you get into these houses, actually. Um, I guess you have to go through the mountain to get into those houses. Slight oversight um, by the architect, but overall, I think this is a really cool village. And wow, this is a squid swimming right outside the blacksmith. And speaking of which, let's see what kind of loot he's got. Yeah, that's pretty good. Some decent stuff, I guess. I don't always, always like to check those. But yeah, that is uh, it for the overworld changes. With the exception of Mesa biomes, they will now have mine shafts generated on the surface. And they will also have something shiny in them. So that is good to know. And Oh, and by the way, this bed wasn't... Sp that, that was spawned in. That, that didn't spawn naturally here. So I just want to point that out to make sure there's no confusion. Uh, but yeah, that go that's it for the overworld changes. Let's go into the nether, see some of the changes that have taken place there. We'll go through, downloading the terrain. Hopefully it doesn't crash my game. Hey, we got the portal sound. That's been there since 1.9, though. Alright, let's fly around, see if we can find any of the new stuff. Um, so far, it's the same old nether that I don't like very much. But they have made it a little bit better. Um, let's see. I, I know there's a new block. Which we should be able to find with enough looking. It at least didn't seem to me that it would be a rare block. This is what I get for not generating the nether off camera, I suppose. Ah, oh, no, no. It's right here. Okay. We can see it. This block now spawns in the nether. And it is called a magma block. And I believe you can, like, sink into it, too. So, let's go over here and see if that is the case. Uh, well, actually, first, does it burn other blocks? Let's see if I can drop it. Doesn't burn other blocks. And I guess you don't sink into it, but... Okay, let's let's just be real. I, I don't think you should touch this if you're in survival mode. It will likely kill you very fast, and maybe that's how we'll end the video, but for now, I'm gonna stay away from it. Um, I am looking for some new guests, though. There's some new guests in the nether, and by guests, I mean Endermen. Endermen now spawned in the nether, although I'm not seeing any. So maybe you had to have gone to the end first for them to do that? I don't know. But I don't see any Endermen in here. Maybe they're a rare spawn. Maybe not, but I would love to see an Enderman take one of those gravel blocks. Oh, we got a magma cube over there. Oh, and this is new too. Um... See these blocks that are gravity blocks affected by gravity? The particles will come down. So this will work with sand and gravel and... I guess maybe anvils? Although it would be kind of weird for that to happen. They probably don't happen for anvils. <laughs> Let's be honest. But yeah, the, we got a cool particle effect now when they're suspended over... Um, a situation where they would normally fall, or if they're actually falling, I believe there's also a particle effect. Actually, let's let's boop one of these and see if that happens. That kind of, yeah, that kind of had a particle effect when it fell. All right, unfortunately, no Endermen, so let's go over to those uh, those blocks I saw earlier. I think they were this way. The new ones that look like they will kill you if you stand in them. Yes, okay, so yeah, no Endermen in here. They're supposed to spawn in here, though. They really are, trust me, there's screenshots to prove it. Jeb said so. And, actually, uh, yeah, go to survival mode, and yes, it does kill you, but quite slowly, actually. I thought this would be much more like lava. And actually, wait a minute, is that... No, that was just a weird bug, I guess. It looked like if I ran on it, it killed you not as fast. Black Ice discovered the floor was lava. Alright, I don't know if that's new or not, but I I have discovered such things. Anyway, that is going to do it for this snapshot update video. As always, I will provide you with Mojang's official blog post as well as the complete change log in the description. So you can check it out yourselves to see if there was uh, anything else discovered or something I missed. And that way you guys have all the information that you need. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode here because it's getting a little bit long. 
Wow, these really get long, don't they? <laughs> Whatever, though. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, you're excited for Minecraft 1.10. I know I am. It, it, it feels really weird because it's like 1.9 feels like it just came out yesterday, and we're already getting 1.10 stuff, so... Um, good on Mojang for keeping up uh, new features, new blocks, new stuff, optimizations, bug fixes, all that nice stuff players like. But anyway, that's going to do it for me for today, so thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day.